everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to model a washing machine. And let's begin. Um, first of all, um, let's go over shading. Make sure this that smooth wireframe is ticked. Okay, click on it and then go over create and polygon primitives. And here where you see this exit on completion assigned with V, sorry. Um, if the interactive creation is also assigned with V, just click on it to, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, remove this V from here. And then, when you do this, uh, if you go to the polygon primitives here, um, and just uh, click on one of those shapes, it will drop this shape into the middle of the grid in our scene. And we actually need a cube, so create a cube. Press 5 to get shader on it so you can see it and it's not transparent. Um, then <clears throat> I want you to go to the attribute editor of this cube. This is the attribute editor. Now, by default, it will open automatically when you create this. If it's not, uh, simply uh, click on this icon here once or twice while this shape is selected. And you can also uh, do this by uh, select the piece and control A. Okay, so then switch to this tab polycube here and add some more subdivision width and height like that and the path. And I want you to scale this a little bit that way and maybe add some more. Okay, um, yeah, that way. And let's scale it so it will look like, uh, you know, some real washing machine. And I want to add more sub. No. You see, now when I was scaling this to the t uh, stretched it to the top, uh, because it's not uh, equal, when I'm trying to add more subdivisions, it's basically ruining the geometry, you see. So I will undo the scale and just add them before. Okay, uh, let's say 9 on top of 9, on top of 9, that should be enough, okay, and then you can scale it and to about something like that. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to make sure that um, you're selecting some faces here at the front, okay, but leave a uh, space in between, like uh, we need to have at least one edge here, which is untouched. You see, it's like th there is a uh, free face here and free face from the other side of this edge. And also here, also at the bottom, and also at the top, we have even few more, two more. But this is the main idea, is to keep those edges as maintaining edges, okay? I'm talking about this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here, okay? So, and this one. So, uh, basically this is what you need to have. Um, if you noticed, uh, when I uh, added those, I put 9 on top of 9, on top of 9, so just to, uh, so you will see how it goes right now. And <coughs> I picked only those faces. Now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, sorry, one, uh, six, 5 here and 4 here. While basically I really need to make sure I have the same uh, equal amount of them, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that's okay, as long as I have this edge here, which is free on both of the sides of the, this edge here. So we can continue, just make sure you didn't select anything else and press delete, okay? Now, I want you to um, go over display, a G um, UI element, sorry, adds up display and um, make sure that the, uh, where is it, poly count is checked, okay? Click on it and then you will see here uh, everything you have in the scene, like how many vertices, how many edges, how many faces, or and UVs, whatever. 
So when you choose faces like that, you can see how many faces you just selected right now. And this appear here where was the value of zero. So let's say I'm choosing only this face, it will say you have one face. Okay? You have one face and <clears throat> basically if I will choose vertices mode and I choose this vertice, so it will tell me you have one vertex. I want you to select all these entry vertices that way uh, you hold down the shift and click on them selecting them okay that way and that way basically uh, you can count them without you know uh, mistake on the way uh, you have 20 vertices selected and nothing else has been selected as far as what I see here everything is okay only those vertices of this hand tree here okay so I have 20 vertices this will use, uh, be used when we want to create a new poly pipe cylinder so let's create a poly pipe okay <coughs> click on it it will appear somewhere there and first thing I want you to go to the attribute editor of this so click on it control A if it's already open just switch to the polypipe tab 1 and make sure you have 20 subdivision axes now this is by default happened um, I didn't been aware that there will be 20 but uh, as you can see it's 20 so you're good to, to go if it wasn't make sure you add 20 in this uh, you know here the subdivision axis uh, options now I want you to make the thickness of this to about 0 0.050 okay something like that uh, maybe this is a little bit low maybe let's bring it to 0 0.200 yeah that's fine now I want you to move uh, use the rotate tool hold down the J and rotate in this uh, direction that way okay so uh, wh while you holding the J it basically snaps to some default angles okay like 90 degrees 45 degrees and so on <coughs> 45 90 and so on okay so let's bring this out so we can see this okay so we have mm, 20 vertices as I uh, mentioned here and one issue is that we need to make sure that uh, this polypipe cylinder is going to be here as like the entry for the uh, clothes that you are going to uh, bring into this washing machine. Now the problem we have is that um, you see these vertices, uh, those lines, those edges or vertices depends on how you want to look at this uh, doesn't meet the same with what's going on on uh, our faces so first thing we need to do is go over shading make sure wireframe when shaded is checked so if you unselect those pieces you can see you can still see the wireframes now we will switch to the four view by clicking here or hitting the spacebar okay this is the four view if you put your mouse cursor over the side view okay which for me it's the front view right now I want to see the front of this washing machine um, I can put my mouse cursor over here tap the spacebar it will expand this window now what I want to try to do is um, basically try and understand uh, try and put this polypipe cylinder in the middle of this hole we made there okay now the hole as you recall is here okay and the middle of it is by finding the middle point um, you know in between those edges like if we have this edge and this edge and this edge sorry and this edge this is the middle uh, point here but we can't actually get some <coughs> you know uh, middle point here we don't have any uh, edge here or vertex that represent this middle we also don't have it here 
on the side okay but we will need to uh, <clears throat> try and work with it okay so what we are going to do is um, I'm going to choose this edge here hold down the control right click and choose edge ring utilities to edge ring and split okay that way I have a middle edge in this middle face here okay this is the middle face from those row okay this row and I will also do this for this one so I choose this edge hold down control right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and then I will have those two now if you can see this uh, <clears throat> because the cube has been made on the center of this grid and we didn't actually move it we only stretched it okay and we basically used very symmetrical uh, portions you see I have two faces here uh, like two faces that way two faces that way two faces that way and two faces that way even though the shape is a little bit stretched to the um, horizontally okay uh, no sorry vertically so um, the, the shape is still centered so therefore <coughs> we have here those this edge okay which we created right now and it meets the same uh, same edge of this polypipe cylinder and also if it was squeezed this cube here so like that you can still see that this mid edge is centered to this one but this is not what we want we want uh, to use this uh, without those two extra edges I've added I only want to rotate this portion here so I will hold on the J and rotate this spring here and make sure it's centered okay you see this face here is centered to this face it's like facing it but um, you know it's not in the same scale but you will see in a second now the, on the other thing I want to make sure is that this face also meets the same uh, facing straight to this face here so now if I will double click this edge hold down the shift right click delete this edge we can also delete this edge hold down the shift right click delete edge and this is the only right way by the way to remove edges don't try delete them by pressing delete because otherwise you will have vertices on top of those uh, edges here so it's better to use the shift right click and delete edge instead of deleting them by pressing delete on your keyboard so after we make sure it's centered what you can do is is pick this cylinder right click choose faces and I will go over shading x-ray and delete all those faces that are needed here so I will be left off with only this shading x-ray to uh, exceed this x-ray and now you can see we have only this uh, front faces of the polypipe now if you go over modify and choose center pivot this will center the pivot axis for this shape um, press W to switch to the move tool <coughs> okay hold down the V and you see while I'm holding the V letter uh, it's turning this cube here into circle that means that I'm in snap mode I can snap this to the same uh, level of this entry of this box it's relaying on those um, edges that here the closest edges or vertices so it snapped them into place like that now I want you to choose I want you to click this one this shape select it and control D to duplicate it okay so we will have another extra one okay and we can put it at the other side there now remember I squeezed this box I don't want this to be squeezed but you can leave it as it is okay uh, you know what let's let's leave it that way um, now I want you to choose both of them that way and go over mesh combine and then we will go over edit mesh merge vertex tool okay and click on this little box here then you will get this thing here so the merge vertex tool has two options as 
merge center, merge to center, or target ver vertices. Vertex. We're going to use the target vertex. That means that we want to pull all this open area uh, to cover it, and we are doing this by stretching these points over here. Okay? So you click, hold, point to this point, and release. By the way, you use the left mouse uh, key. So you see, this way you can patch this area and basically cover this hole. Okay, I've done uh, some mistake. Control Z to undo whatever you did. And basically, we are going to patch this. That way. Not cool. No. Okay. Let's just check that everything is correct. And this is how we create the hole. And this is very important. Uh, why we've done all of this and why we um, chose to add the to uh, keep those edges is because if I will uh, press three on my keyboard to smooth preview this, uh, you can see that the circle here has been maintained, okay, and everything is connecting, and the you know the overall shape is still cube. Uh, nothing, nothing. We didn't harm the the main shape, uh, it still looks like a cube and we still have this circle in the middle, okay? So I will press 1 to exit the smooth preview mode. By the way, to toggle between them it's 1, 2, 3, you can uh, press 1 and 3 only, the 2 is only, uh, you know, some kind of a preview for what's uh, what this shape is made from and whatever. 1 and 3 on your keyboard. 3 to smooth, 1 to exit the smooth preview. So, after we've done this and we understood this, um, we basically created the entry for our uh, washing machine. And that's all good. Uh, basically, the main thing that we need to, needed to concentrate right now. And basically, I hope that you uh, managed to create this and understand why we kept... Um, two faces uh, in both sides of each edge to maintain this, um, you know, uh, cubic kind of shape. So, this is it for the first part of this washing machine, and we will continue at the next part. Hope you enjoy this one, and see you soon at the next part. Bye, and have a nice day. Bye.